Good Sunday morning. It is a beautiful day out there. The sun's shining. going to be in the 80s here in West Virginia. And oh my goodness, everything's just coming up roses. <laughs> I love the summertime. Um, no more rain for a while, I hope. But with the rain brings beautiful flowers. And the way the flowers pollinate is by this beautiful butterfly. I've had my mind on butterflies for a week now. I've been studying a butterfly and the life of a butterfly. And, and you know, in Romans 12 and 2, it says, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is, what, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mm, you will be changed from the inside out if we get in his word. We'll be transformed. And that butterfly is transformed into such a beautiful creature. It has to put itself in a cocoon. Hang with me. This cocoon that it builds itself around its body to protect it. Much like we do with things that happen in our life and, and things that we go through, we just keep building a layer and a layer and a layer and the walls keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and sometimes we lose who we are. We have to make our way out of there from past hurts, from things that have happened in our life, we are safe and secure in our little cocoon. I read a story this week about a butterfly. This guy was sitting and watching a cocoon, and he kept watching this cocoon for about five hours. He was on his porch, and he said he kept watching this cocoon, and, and this butterfly kept trying to come out. After about five hours, he thought, well, I'm going to help the poor little thing, and he went and got scissors, and he just clipped the top and that butterfly came right on out, but its wings were withered up, couldn't fly, didn't live long. Reason being, and I studied this, that butterfly has to come out of that cocoon all by itself. Nobody can get you out. You have to come out of your past or whatever is, is, is bothering you yourself. And God is there to help you. But this guy did it. Man, I can't help you. I cannot help you change your life. I can't help you get out of a cocoon, your cocoon. Only you can. But as he clipped that and the butterfly came out, its wings were all, wouldn't come open. They just stayed like this. And, and the body of the butterfly was really fat. Reason being, that butterfly, as he wakes his way out of the hole, the last place that he closed up, is where he comes out. And as he opened that up, he has to work his way out of the cocoon. And as he works his way out of the cocoon, it squeezes his body and the fluid goes into the wings. And as soon as he gets out, his wings are spanned. Now watch a butterfly. They keep their wings up. They don't, like a moth, they, they fall up and fly. But a butterfly, it's like he's praising God. A friend of mine said, it's like they're praising the Lord. And I'm like, oh, wonderful. But that butterfly only lives two to six weeks. That's their lifespan. But before he goes into that cocoon, he eats his way. He eats and eats and eats. And sometimes this old world just gets us and it binds us and it keeps putting layers and layers and layers on us and we just go in our own shell. I'm here to tell you this morning that in, let me see where this is at. In Ephesians, he said, and be renewed in your spirit and your mind. Second um, Corinthians 4 and 16 says, for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward is renewed day by day. While we're in that cocoon, or the, the, the real butterfly, while that um, is in the cocoon, it is 
the, the heart is growing. The mind is growing. The genes are working, and it's going to transform into something beautiful. Yesterday, we were out on the street with um, an organization that we're part of. It's called Extended Arms Project. And we go out to hurting people. We go out to the homeless and, and the less fortunate. And we, and we simply just love on them. We give them something to eat. We give them sleeping bags and, and what have you. But this lady came to us. And she wanted to accept Christ as her Savior. And as I began to minister to this lady, she had so much hurt in her life. And in her world, she had been a Christian before, and she had wrapped herself in this cocoon, her safe place. Yesterday, she was set free. She was free in Christ. Today, he wants to open you up. He wants to set you free, and he wants to watch you soar. That butterfly only lives two to six weeks. But oh, it has a job to do. Our bodies are only here for a little while. But our spirit man will live forever, for eternity. I'm here to tell you this morning to come out of your cocoon. Come out and be the person that God wants you to be. Yesterday, while we were out on the street, we were in a little town, not a big population. We were in a little town, and we were by the road. There was a couple mud holes, but you know what? It's okay. We were helping people. We were loving on people. That's what we're supposed to do. And as our team was sitting there, I said, church, I said, guys, the church has gone out beyond the walls. It's time for us to get out there on the street. Before we left, they bring a lady who had cancer. The cancer had already metastasized to the brain. In her stomach, she had cancer. And she said, Cancer is not what is going to take me out of this world. And she wanted us to pray for her, and we did. You know, God has a plan. I don't know the plan. I just want to be a willing vessel for him to use. That's all that matters. And I don't want to miss it, my friend. I don't want to miss a mark that he has set before me for me to do. And I will go out of this world trying to win souls and love people. And I'm going to pull up a song if I can get this tablet to come back on. It went to sleep on me. Sorry. This is a song that I wrote years ago. And it's called Holy Spirit Comfort Me. I remember singing it beside the bedside of, of Bob's grandmother when she was passing. Wonderful Christian woman. And as Nanny laid there and we were watching the life leave her. I had just started on this song, and I finished it that night. You know, when it comes down to that last breath that we're going to take, he's going to be there. He's going to comfort us, and he's going to take us right on over into glory where we can forever be with the Lord. That's exciting. It's been exciting being on here on Facebook. Our church starts back up next week, and we are so excited. But until then... We're going to be on the internet. That's what we got. We use what we've got. Bloom where you're planted. If he plants you in a doctor's office or on an elevator and he says, hey, why don't you tell them that Jesus loves them? There's a lot of people have cocoons built around them, walls built around them in their safe place. It's a safe place. Don't let anyone in. I ministered to a young woman this week. As I've been thinking about these butterflies. And I ministered to her. And she told me a story that she hadn't shared with two or three people. Something that had happened. That she saw happen. And it really has bared on her life. And on her mind for years. But she's free now. She's free. She made her way out of that cocoon. I get, she rededicated her life about a year ago. To back to the Lord. But he helped her. She could not help what happened in this circumstance. But God has shown her his love, his mercy, and now he's using her in ministry. I've been helping her a little bit with her, her, her music, her 
you know, doing some lessons with her. But not only am I helping her to learn to sing, I am still ministering the word and ministering to her. It's not about just one thing. You can be at the grocery store and you can minister to someone else. Be obedient to him. And you know what? He's going to comfort you. That's what he said he would.
free from that thing that binds you, that keeps you in bondage. And he said he would be there. He would be closer than a brother. My friend, you can bank on that. He is amazing. Now, while I was singing that, a butterfly just went past this window I'm sitting in front of. Yesterday, while we were sitting by the road, guess what? Not only one, but I saw two butterflies. Butterflies aren't something you just see every day. I think it's his little way, his way of just saying, I got you, Deb. You're on the right track. That's what I wanted you to do today. He's amazing, God. Trust him, my friends. He will lead you, he will guide you, and he will keep you. He will keep that which is committed unto him. Father, we thank you today. We thank you, Father, that you, Lord Jesus, hear our prayers. And Father, we know that wherever we are, if we're in our little safe place when we build those walls, God, it's time to come out. It's time to open up and be set free in you. And Father, I pray for everyone listening here this morning, God, that they would just just decide today. Today is the day that I'm going to break free from what binds me. And I am going to soar just like a butterfly. You're beautiful in your own way. There's an old song, and I don't know if I can remember it, just came to my mind. It goes, in his time, in his time, he makes all things beautiful. In his time, Lord, to you I... I can't remember it all. Mm -hmm. In his time, I should have looked that up, but it just came to me. But in his time, he is going to make all things beautiful. And that's a promise. Go get beautiful. Today is your day. The sun is shining. Go out there and spend time with him and his creation. And you'll see just how special you are. And I pray that he sends you a butterfly if you're in that valley of decision. That you're going to see one today. He's going to speak to your heart. Every little creature that is on this earth has a purpose. God bless you. Let him keep you and lead you and guide you into wonderful things. Have a great day. And enjoy the sunshine.